So in your opinion, has politics become too vain? I mean, I don't think it's sort of a, a black and white question. Because, so I write a column called Washington Whispers. And so it's supposed to be sort of the fun side of politics. So you might look at it and be like, oh, that's, that's a little bit like too soft, too looks focused. But at the same time, I think that there's a place for that. So you mentioned in the talk here about uh, Reince Priebus and monster trucks. Have you found other interesting items like that with other politicians and you know heads of, of parties? Oh, absolutely. So I mean, you hear about interesting music or fashion choice, or I'm, I'm trying to think of a good one off the top of my head, but just even like Marco Rubio, we were talking about his passion for hip hop. And I think that when you look at, look at something like that, it's much harder for you to dislike that person. And as I said in the panel, I think that that would maybe perhaps uh, make us a little bit less partisan. You know, we talked about image a little bit uh, today, and how much do you think that affects things? One of the things I was thinking about is uh, Michael Dukakis in a tank. <laughs> yes, I think that that was, I mean, that is sort of the quintessential sort of faux pas that you think of in politics. Like that picture, you're sort of like, ugh, that was, that was like not a, a, good, a good image because it just looks inauthentic. And I think that there's an authenticity that you do want in your politicians, even though you know that some of this is a little bit of a photo op, and obviously they, they, they sort of polish everybody up that wants to go into politics. But I think you do want an authentic person running for office. The media has changed a lot over the years. I mean, we're very much now more video-centric. Things happen just really at, in seconds, and milliseconds in some cases. Uh, do you think that the politicians are really ready for this? I... I, I don't know. I mean, I think you almost, you have to be sort of aware that there could be, a, a, actually, the, the best example of this happening was the Makaka moment. Do you remember this? It totally derailed George Allen's uh, political career at that time because he sort of like off the cuff like said this horrible thing and it was, it was caught on camera. So I think everyone's sort of aware that that can happen and I think you then have to realize that you have to have a strategy to combat that. For example, again, going back to Rubio, he had that really awkward sort of grasp at a water bottle during the State of the Union um, rebuttal last year, yet they, they made light of it. They, thought they made it funny, they made a little joke, they were transparent about it, and it was nothing more than like a little hiccup versus something that could seriously derail someone's political career. I mean, if you look at, remember Bobby Jindal and his really awkward State of the Union um, rebuttal, like he never got over that yet Marco Rubio sort of sailed through without it being a huge issue. Do you think as a result of those things, things are like that are being more scrutinized? It just seems to me that uh, as we watched the State of the Union and the rebuttal, that everything was ready to be analyzed you know, at every second. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think because of, the, because of what were considered flops over the last few years, I think there was definitely more skepticism of all the different rebuttals. And if, if you were a political consultant, what kind of advice would you give to uh, the politicians or those people who just get on te television? Um, I, I would say to, to just to be yourself as much as possible. And, you know, everyone knows that you make mistakes and everybody makes mistakes. So as long as you sort of handle it with grace and with humor and with honesty, I think that you're, you'll be fine. Do you think the future bodes well for all of us then? I do. I, I, you know, I, I think it's a changing media landscape, but I think that perhaps if we're lucky, uh, sort of the more we know about people, the more humanizing it can become, and thus that could perhaps deal with this big partisan issue. So that's one good thing that can come out of it. Um, I, I'm, I'm optimistic.